Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Femke and today it is time for a new nail polish of the week video. In this particular nail video series, I swatch and talk about one specific nail polish color. But first up, you want to make sure that you have removed your previous manicure and go in with your base coat. I'm just using one by Holotaco. I've used it a couple of times, but if you are new to my channel, hi, I would really appreciate it if you you would subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. But back to this nail polish of the week video or at least the application and I'm going to start off with my base coat. I just really love this one by Holotaco. It is a little bit more expensive this I have mentioned in multiple videos. I've used this base coat in multiple videos as well. It is the smoothing base coat and I'm really, really debating whether I would repurchase this one or maybe just skip it and try something else. I'm not quite sure because I do really like this one. It's kind of like rich filling and it just gives a really nice smooth surface to the nail for your colored nail polish to grab onto. So yeah, I'm still kind of like debating with myself whether or not to repurchase it because it is quite like a higher price range. Especially when I compare it to the other base coats that I use a lot by Essence and Catrice Cosmetics. So yeah, I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to do. But it is a really nice base coat nonetheless. But the color that I'm going to use in this particular nail polish of the week video is one by Essence. It's from the Shine Less Than Go collection and it is called 58 Endless Summer. This is such a cute color. Perfect for summer or actually any time of year if you're into that. On the bottle it does say that it is a gel nail polish but you don't have to cure it or anything. It isn't a gel polish. Um, the only reason why they mention this on the bottle is because this regular nail polish is so shiny and so lush that it actually looks like a gel polish but it actually is just a regular nail polish that air dries and yeah that is pretty much it so it is from the shine less than go collection these polishes contain like eight milliliters of polish if i remember correctly and here in the netherlands they actually are 169 in euros which is super affordable if you ask me their pigmentation is like nine out of ten times Times, like perfect just beautifully opaque as you can see here the um, substancy or like the thickness of the polish I feel like this is like a medium towards a little bit more of a thicker substancy um, but there is a lot of pigment in this polish so I kind of get why this one is a little bit more thick if you would compare it to other brands but it is still really really easy to work with actually Make sure you don't have too much polish on the brush when applying. Like you can see right here, I actually had a little bit of spilling and flooding um, next to the nail onto the skin, but you can just remove that with your fingernail or even a brush with some acetone or nail polish remover. Whatever has your personal preference, it all works fine. I just tend to remove it with my fingernail because it's easy and fast and I don't have to wait until the polish is dry and so on. But yeah, this first coat looks already really, really good. And of course, if you are going to do your nails together with me while watching this video, always remember to cap off the edges with your base coat, your top coat and one of your colored coats as well. This prevents chipping and tip wear and so on. But yeah, I'm pretty much in love with this color. Just a look at that shine from that first coat already and it is so opaque. Um, the second coat is definitely going to make it perfect, like flawless, no sheerness or patchiness going on anymore. I actually do think that if you have way shorter nails than I have, like even shorter than the nail I have on my thumb while recording this video, I think you can get away with just applying one decent coat. Of course, the thinner the coat you apply, the less time you have to wait before your polish is completely dry and fully hardened out. But yeah, I just really love this color. And and on camera, I feel like it looks a little bit more pink than it was in real life, but it is such a bright color that my camera was struggling to capture it right. 
like if you know what I mean. Um, neon colors or like very bright colors, whether it are pastel neons or just true neons or coral tones like these, cameras can struggle a little bit to actually capture the color the way it is in real life. But in real life, I feel like it's a little bit more orangey, like orangey coral. And this to me looks on camera a little bit more pinky color. Uh, coral I have to say but it definitely is a beautiful color and I even wore it on my toenails as well because it was just so fun and bright and just really cute but for a top coat I'm going to use a new one that I got by Essence um, the polishes that Essence is coming out with lately are completely vegan cruelty free and so on so that is a big big plus this is the ultra gloss top coat I do feel like this one could have been a little bit more thick like substancy wise because usually the base and top coats by essence are a little bit more thick um, but I feel like this one is a little bit on the watery side, which isn't a bad thing, but just keep it in mind to not apply too much um, product to the brush onto your nail because you might have some flooding in the cuticle area or anything like that. And of course, always remember to cap off the edges as well to prevent chipping. But I have to be honest, like the Shine Less Than Go colors, like the corally tone that I just used here, are so pigmented that you definitely want to take a closer look to your top coat brush after applying it to your polish because even though the color is completely dry there might be some pigments um, like coming onto the brush as you can see right here so make sure to wipe off your brush before putting it back into the little pot and screwing the cap back on so yeah that's always a possibility especially if the polishes are so opaque and just packed with that color and pigment so yeah just a little heads up for that but this was already my entire new nail polish of the week video do let me know what you think about this color like personally i'm a big big fan it's very cute very like summer proof but if you're like me you kind of wear every single color every time of year it doesn't matter whether it's spring summer fall or winter it's just a really nice nice color but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. I hope you're all keeping safe and sound and healthy. And as usual, I would love to see you in one of my next videos.